is on the verge of an economic revolution. The country is hungry for swift and reliable transportation for goods and people. That's why the government has envisioned a futuristic multimodal system that will transform the sector. Vital to this plan is the 100 km Dima Pakadan railway line. This greenfield project was entrusted to Afcons, a company with a pedigree in delivering innovative engineering solutions across the world. Connecting the bustling port of Tema to the iconic Volta Lake. The railway line will set a spark to the local economy. The Tema port lies on the shores of the Atlantic Ocean in Ghana. The bustling activity at the port is an indication of the country's speedy economic growth. But with growth comes pain. All the containers unloaded at Ghana's ports have to be moved inland towards the north and to Ghana's economic partners like Burkina Faso, Mali, and Niger. Currently, this movement happens via roads. The result? Heavy traffic at Tema City, frequent accidents, and a tremendous environmental burden. The transportation is too slow, too expensive, and is throttling Ghana's growth. The development of a safe, and reliable and efficient railway network is fundamental to any transformation of the socio-economic development of any country, including Ghana. You need a safe, and reliable and efficient railway network to transform your economy. There are road accidents everywhere throughout the country due to the uh, state of our road networks. The railway sector, which was once a vibrant sector in Ghana during the colonial times, has been crumbled due to neglect in the railway sector. So at the moment, with Afcons in the picture, they're going to help us to modernize our railway sector. The Tema Pakadan railway line flags off this grand vision. This 100-kilometer railway line will connect Tema to Lake Volta and further. Part of Ghana's proud history, the lake provides access to regions which have little to no access by road. Originally, most of the goods were going by roads from Temaport throughout the country. So what we did was to shorten the distance between, uh, say, traveling from Tema to, um, say, the northern part of Paga, which is the, nor in the northern part of Ghana, by using the railway network to connect from Temaport to Pakadan. And then we can use the uh, Volta Lake transport over the lake to shorten the distance between going from Tamapo to the northern part of Ghana. So it's extremely important. So if you're going from, rail, from railways to um, sea transport and then to transport by, by, by automobiles. The responsibility of developing this vital project was awarded to AFCONS. AFCONS uh, is uh, executing this uh, mega railway project called Tema Pakadam Railway Project. This also marked the entry of FCONS into Ghana as an infrastructure player. We are also aware that this is an extremely critical and important project for this country and will be used as part of multimodal transport. This also is one of the largest infrastructure projects in Ghana. AFCONS was mandated with constructing 97.7 kilometers of the railway line. The challenge to ensure consistent quality within a short timeline. Originally, some old line was existing of a colonial period. That was about 24 kilometers. So, same as land was to be utilized for construction of a, this ultra-modern 
new efficient railway system. So first major challenge was to get that land vacated so that activities can commence. Then beyond that point, it was totally a greenfield project. Geographical difficulties are very frequent variation in strata, prone to slide, rocks having a fractured kind of a structures. This was the first standard gauge track in the country. Secondly, it was to be built on concrete sleeper. Transporting such a bulky quantity from overseas in terms of the cost, in terms of the logistics, we came to a conclusion to establish a concrete sleeper plant itself so that we can ensure a proper quality and can overcome these challenges also. To maintain high quality and facilitate semi-mechanized track construction, Afcons developed equipment like rail handling trailer, rail laying trolley, and a modified sleeper vibrating arrangement. The in-house innovations doubled productivity and helped in employing a large number of people from the local area who benefited from the knowledge transfer. Apart from laying down the rail lines and sleepers, Afcons also had to construct hundreds of structures. This included passenger stations, crossing stations, railhead facilities at Tema and Pakadan, and maintenance facilities at Tema. However, the bridge over Lake Volta stumped engineers. Volta Bridge is the longest railway bridge of Ghana and it is the first ever bridge of Africa on Raker Pile Foundations. The lake bed was finally found at a depth of 70 meters. Driving and boring pile foundations at this depth was extremely difficult and full of risks. AFCONs operationalized a special team with experience in extreme marine engineering. This is one of the most iconic bridge of Ghana. It is built across the Volta Lake. This portion is already having two dams and this bridge is precisely located between the two dams. The water depth at the bridge location is around 30 meter and below the water there is a sand deposit is also about 30 meter before you can reach the rock for founding the foundations. Afcons mobilized heavy duty machinery. A steel barge with 1000 metric ton capacity was designed in-house by Afcons. A reverse circulation drill Vibro hammer, two cranes with capacities of 260 metric tons and 150 metric tons and tugboats were deployed at Lake Volta to bring the bridge to life. The Volta bridge was not the part of original project. Later on, it came as a modification to the total length of the project. Construction of Volta bridge is a project in itself to ensure that the committed timeline for completion of entire project is not compromised. We mobilized a special team and dedicated machinery to take up this job parallelly. while Afcons tapped into its global experience in building extreme structures. It also readily shared its expertise with the local team. We have, since beginning of this project, maintained a local content of more than 80% manpower. I am very happy to say that concrete sleeper plant that we have set up in Ghana is totally manned by the local manpower. 
local engineers and they very successfully completed casting of the entire lot of more than 2 lakh sleepers. On the ground, over 80% of the workforce were Ghanaian. The project generated employment, adding to the national economy. Locally, Afcons is currently employing about 2,200 uh, locals in the construction of the railway line from Tema to Impakada. Uh, we know that uh, construction of railway line in Africa, and for that matter, Ghana, is a very unique area. We don't have much of such technology here. Through the experience that they gain from AFCON, they're going to transfer that experience onto other lines that we're going to construct. By the time they finish with the construction, they have impacted so much knowledge to our men and they have transferred the technology also to our people in Ghana here. And I believe that this partnership between the Indian company and Ghana government will go a very long way in developing the skills of Ghanaians in the field of railway construction. So in terms of long-term response and preventive measures, we were one of the first organization to arrange vaccination from our staff, from the vaccination lot received from India. And then we have gone on to do second, law, second dose of vaccination. And subsequently, in recent past, we have done a booster dose also. One good thing we did was that we did vaccination for our staff, as well as the friends, relatives, and the stakeholders in the work area. So even now, we organize camps for the local schools, the community, and try to help out wherever possible. We follow a community out outreach program for health benefits uh, in our project influence area. We identify the population of local villagers and school children and we provide them health camps, uh, health checks. We have also provided them health insurance cards with which they can go to any dispensary. The Tema Pagadan railway line is set to facilitate ease of doing business by driving down the time and cost of transportation. This will revitalize the region, allowing for the creation of new settlements, industrial parks and economic zones. Afcons is proud to lay the building blocks of the infrastructure that will carry not just freight and passengers, but the hopes and aspirations of the new Ghana.